All right, this is the second video in our atoms in the periodic table series, and we're still with section 2.1 with the structure of atoms, and we're going to take a look at an experiment today as I scroll down that showed the existence of these things called electrons, or what he called electrons. And J.J. Thompson was a scientist, and he did the cathode, oops, cathode ray experiment. And we're going to simplify what he did a little bit. Uh, it was actually a series of experiments that he did, but we're just going to look at the overall implication or, or what it means for us uh, in chemistry. So go ahead and sketch this guy. And he had this experiment, it was called a cathode ray, and it, it's like a laser beam, but the laser, rather than being light, is actually is electrons. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so he's got this, this cathode tube, it's, it's a sealed glass tube, and he had a beam of electrons that was moving across this, like a, like a laser, like I said. And then what he was doing is he was manipulating that beam using magnets. And so if we had a positive magnet on top, or the positive pole of a magnet, and the negative pole of a magnet on the bottom, he watched how this beam reacted to that magnetism. So as that beam traveled across the cathode ray, what he noticed is that it would deflect upwards toward that positive portion of the magnet. So what does this mean? Take a second and sketch or write a hypothesis about what you think this means uh, into your notes. And then click the button when you're ready to keep going. So what this means is that there are these things, or this, this portion of an atom that he called electrons. And all this showed was that there, there are these things called electrons. He showed their existence and that they have a negative charge. Okay, They are negatively charged. And there was another experiment that showed that there was a different part of the atom that was positively charged. And so uh, all of these experiments together kind of led to our understanding of the atom today. And that's it for this one. Uh, electrons exist, and it was the cathode ray experiment that showed it. And it showed that there are these things called electrons that bend towards a positive pole of a magnet. So take a look at your CTQs, and it's going to be asking you some questions about what kind of assumptions we can be making and uh, we're going to move on from there.